Hey guys, Mike here with Right Amanda Campy. I uh, was just thinking I'll go ahead and show you guys a video of me working on the window frame and getting that installed today. Um, so as you could see, we had the pieces cut out already. All I'm doing is dry fitting the stuff here. Um, I wanted to make sure everything fit before I went ahead and did the glue up. What I'm checking for here is just really just to make sure there's just a tiny bit of space between the window frame and the window. Um, just to account for any growth, etc. And uh, as you guys probably have figured out by now, I am a huge fan of pocket hole screws. So that's pretty much how I put everything together. Pocket hole screws and some basic glue with glue in between. <laughs> I'll just show you guys quick uh, final assembly of the frame, the last corner. Again, I do use pocket joints. I know a lot of people aren't fans of them. I'm not just relying on the pocket joint. There is a glue which adds a little bit of strength. Plus, there's going to be the frame around it, the ceiling, the roof panel. I'm actually adding corner um, brackets to this to increase the strength of the frame mounting as well. So. It's still going to be a solid frame. Um, this here is, um, and on top of that, of course, I mean, pocket holes are, are strong enough, so. Uh, 
Um, of course, once the frame was assembled, I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick dry fit, make sure the frame fit around the window. I, it's a whole lot easier to go ahead and do the adjustments now and fixes now if I goofed up than it would be later. So this is what I'm doing here. The uh, frame pops in uh, fairly solid, which was good. And I, I did have that little bit of an air gap in between the frame and the window, which was awesome. This is where you'll notice me going in and just adjust or installing the frame. Um, first I need to measure it out, make sure I center it out. And because I can't do math, I end up using my phone to go ahead and calculate the center of all of this stuff here. Um, once I get everything marked out and centered, at that point my goal is just clamp it to the that top spar, pre-drill it, um, countersink it, and screw it in and then go ahead and do the same from the bottom
obviously there's a big gap between the frame and the spar, right? Um, I didn't glue these spars in, they're all just held in by, uh, once again, pocket holes. So I adjusted the spar up to make it flush with the window frame. Yes, these are just held in by single uh, pocket hole screws, as you will see in later videos, though I also made sure that A, there's wall supports that's holding all of these on, plus again, like we mentioned earlier, you're going to have a ceiling panel and a roof panel, so a single pocket hole does add quite a bit of strength, but added in with everything else that's going to be added to this, I am not worried about the joint becoming loose. For me, the awesome part here about doing it this way, um, mounting it to the bottom of the frame, I have a true fit to the frame itself, and even if for any reason there's something just not quite in square, this ensures that everything is flush and square and solid, uh, which made me sleep just slightly better that night. So at this point, the process that I'm doing is just the same I did from the the top of the frame, except from this time, instead of coming in from above the frame, I'll be coming in from the frame through the spar, just because that's a lot easier to screw in, and I don't have to lay on the ground to try and get this figured out. Now, for your sake and patience, I went ahead and I just sped this up just a little bit for you. Um, I'm essentially doing the same thing I was doing from the top. So there was no reason to show you the full length feature here. Uh, something you do note, once everything was clamped, uh, we're using bar clamps. Uh, you will also see me use uh, center punches just to make sure everything stays nice and center. You'll see me adjusting these clamps just to make sure everything is flush as well as the, the gaps are tight. Um, that's the benefit of using these, which is why you saw me possibly throw away the uh, hand clamp earlier bar clamps with the twist on just allow me to put that little bit of pressure on. Last but not least, of course, I wanted to go ahead and test to make sure the windows still fit. Um, sometimes during these things, if I do something wrong, it may have bended weird or done something odd, so I just wanted to make sure everything still fits before I continued further. But that wasn't the problem here. Somehow I managed on my first try to go ahead and get this window installed properly. That never happens. I was excited, so please forgive my horrible happy dance. Last but not least, as mentioned earlier, I am um, installing some corner brackets as well, just to add a little bit more structure to this and not to completely rely on just some screws. And as I'm wrapping up here, I do want to thank you for watching. If you found value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to keep watching this stuff, just go ahead and hit subscribe. I uh, do want to remind you that we do have a blog at rightamountofcampy.net, as well as our Instagram account at rightamountofcampy. See you next time.